Hey, darling. <laughs> I missed you. <sighs> Ten hours is way too long for you to be at the office. Especially when I haven't been able to get you out of my mind all day. <laughs> Shh, no apologizing for that. I know that it needs to be done, and I would never ask you to stop working unless you wanted to. <laughs> I guess I just like to complain sometimes is all. It's just so hard for me to tear myself away from you. But I know that you work hard and I'm proud of you. Now, come here and let me rub your shoulders. <laughs> There we go. Just try to relax. Come on, take a deep breath. For me, please. Mm hmm. Good. That helped a little. You're still really tense, though. I hope work wasn't too rough today. <sighs> They were ignoring you again. I swear to- They don't even think about how rude it is. God, I have half a mind to. Wait, are you okay with me getting angry on your behalf? Or did you want to rant yourself? What? No, don't worry. I'm not going to offer solutions. That's why I've never listed it as an option. <laughs> Because, one, I know that solutions aren't what you want to hear right now. And, two, me offering solutions would imply that I think I know more about the situation than you do. Which I don't. I do know that structural discrimination is often unfixable at the micro level, though. And, therefore, sometimes ranting is actually much more productive than problem solving. <laughs> so, do you want me to get angry or not? Excellent. Okay, so your colleagues act like 12 year olds who think that they'll get cooties if they touch you. Seriously, no grown ass man should be that afraid of vaginas. How hard can it possibly be for them to have a basic conversation with you about the very thing that you all work on? Yeah, I know that they don't realize that they exclude you. But honestly, that just makes the problem worse. They don't even see the fact that they don't talk to you as a problem. Don't ever stop to think, gee, it must be hard for her being the only woman in this office. I wonder if she minds being excluded from every major decision our department has made. And no, it's not on you to self-advocate. When everybody else in your workplace seems to lack basic human empathy, I know that if the roles were reversed, you notice and try to include people. It's not too much to ask for them to do the same thing. Besides, I know that if you bring it up, then they'll just assume that you're overly sensitive and dismiss whatever you say. Or worse, they think that you're on your period. And of course, if you tell them that it's sexist to make assumptions like that, they'll again attribute your justified anger to you being on your period. Isn't it wonderful how the whole fucking system only serves to silence you while further reinforcing their mistaken ideologies? And isn't it fucking fantastic that they all com are completely unaware that you even experience this? Or any of the other problems you face from working in a male-dominated field? You've had to deal with so many memos that outline the dress code exclusively in to men's clothing. You've had so many supervisors treat you like a silly little girl who didn't know what she was doing, even though you have three fucking advanced degrees. You still have to walk across the hall to use the bathroom three times a day because somehow your department doesn't have a woman's bathroom in 20 fucking 20. <sighs> I'm amazed that you're even able to put up with it all. I know that I couldn't. <laughs> yeah, I know how strong you are. But it's not right for you to have to go through all of this. I just wish that there was more I could do. Yeah, I know that I listen, but that never seems like enough. I kind of just want to burn your entire building down. <laughs> Don't give me that look. I know that you've thought about it, too. 
and I promise I won't actually do it, even though it is tempting, I'm not gonna lie. Besides, I have other options. How about I march down to your office and scream at everybody for being dicks? No? Too extreme? Honestly, it's not. But I doubt that they would listen to me anyway. Let's see. Mm, what if I only torched part of the building? What? Yeah, it's arson, but it's justified arson. Alright, alright, fine. I'll be good. I won't threaten your employer, even though they deserve it. What? You think so too? And you've had a hard week at work. So if you won't let me commit a federal crime, at least let me spoil you for a bit. <laughs> because you deserve it. And because you're worth it. <laughs> so, just lay back and rest your head against me. Put that uphill battle that you're fighting out of your head. With me, everything can be easy and safe. <laughs> and fun. How does that sound? Do you want to relax with me tonight? Ha, ha, ha.